guys, it's Kev and Lily, and welcome to Woodland Camping Craft. Yeah, for another video, we're back out camping again, folks. We're out in the woods. We've got my good friend uh, Steve from Frogman uh, Wild Camps and Wonders over there, just collecting firewood. We've been here for a couple of hours, but it's been lovely. We are just chilling and relaxing to the max, right? It's lovely, it's glorious. The woods are all golden um, from the sun, it's beautiful. So we're just going to crack on and get a fire, we've had a couple of beers, the owner's been down, all is good. We're happy and we're having a good time. It's going to be a good one, right? Just a nice chill one though. Yeah. I'm just setting up, put the ridge line in that cup up. And I've remembered it's Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> the toilet. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> nice one. Put it in there, mate. Go on. Tip, 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 tip. Tip it. In there, look. That's it. Let's get fire going. Let's get quickly. All of it. Fin, no, fin stuff. Quick, quick, quick. Hold it in there till it takes, matey. Put your feet straight on it a little bit. That's it, hold it till it takes. There's no... Hold it till it takes, thin stuff. That's all right. That's all right, mate. Your thin stuff next. See it? Okay. Now try your, uh, now try your sticks, but make sure the sticks are in the flame. The other pile. What, that? Yeah. That's it. That's it, make sure they're in the flames. I think they are. Press it down a little bit. That's it. There we go, hopefully that's all right. Yeah, just let it do its thing. That's it, let it do its thing. It's doing it, it's doing it duty. There, it's coming through. Now you can start with some more birch bark if you want. And then you can put your next bundle on, mate. So you don't have to worry too much. Just put it on, just put it straight across. That's it. That's it, next, next bundle on, matey. Yep. Yeah. Straight across. That's it. More birch bark. Just layer it on. Perfect. That's it. Just layer it. That's it. Just chuck it all on then. And then you can start putting your next lot on as light fuel. Uh, as. Can't even speak. Fuel wood. It's like a teepee. So you can layer all them on. Yeah, they're all dry. But what it would do is it was dry as it was, it was as it was getting bigger. Do you know what I mean? And then we've got fuel wood down there. Yeah, stay them on as like a TP all the way around, back to front as a. It. And then what you can do after, when you've got a bit of this fuel wood on and it's taken a little bit, is we'll put all that pine on and hopefully we'll get rid of these midges, eh? Mm -hmm. Doing a grand job. A grand job. So it makes all the tips are in the flames, that's it. That's perfect. That's it. Now these really do want to be laid one by one as a teepee. One of this second we burn. It. Drop it. 
Perfect. Perfect. Don't matter if all the ends won't get burnt because we'll just chuck them in after. Excellent job, mate. That is a good fire coming along already. No chance that we'll ever go out now. I don't think it will. No. Now just chuck that pine there, Liv. Just chuck that pine on. And honestly, all them mozzies will be gone. This is going to smoke like a beast. That's it. It's going to smoke like crazy. Just chuck it on. It's going to smoke. Just like a wall? Yeah. Just put it on. <coughs> It, smoking now. Now get rid of all these mozzies. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Kev. Six foot tall, look. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger, Steve. It's bigger. So they're opening the woods up. They've been doing a lot of work, taking loads of trees down. As you can see by these big piles here. But look what's opening up. Loads of green, loads of uh, bluebells there. Some trees here marked to be uh, taken down, some more. But it's opening up, things are growing. We've just seen a load of chestnut. Uh, sweet chestnut trees coming through. And loads of other little trees as well. Um, some naturally, and some are planted. It's definitely helped out with the canopy and just like here, single solitary bluebell there, look. The woods are being opened up and there's a lot, a lot more sunlight getting through so there's going to be a lot more green I think. There we are, that's the last of the sun. Not much film tonight, I'll try and film a bit of cooking but we've got here and just had a, we've just had a chill so you will get to see some of it. You, sorry, start that again. You will see a bit of cooking and that, but after that, it might just be might just be night, and then we'll see you in the morning. So, Lily's not gone very adventurous. She's got a billy can in there with some beans and sausages, and she's got some cheesy uh, bread rolls. But me and Steve, we've got steaks and what have we got? Crocodile burgers. Crocodile burgers. Crocodile burgers. What's yours like, Leo? Mm. Is it good? Yeah. Was it just plain beans and sausages tapped in with a cheesy bun? Yeah. Yeah, simple. You're not very uh, extrovert when it comes to meals or food, are you? <laughs> no. But that's good for tonight, isn't it? Fill you up? Good lass. Oh, that is so hot fire, Lily, that is. Everybody likes a steak different. They're quite thick, so I don't know if you like a bloody in the middle of what. I'm basically taking steak as it comes. Yeah? To be you honest. You take your one off when you're ready, mate, you know what I mean? Take either one. Which one do you want, Mr. Parker? I need. Yeah, Steve's cut me that up. Oh, it smells mm. delicious, doesn't it, darling? Yeah. Can't wait to get tucked into that. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. How is it? It's tops. Yeah. 
100% tops, dude. Well, you know, so what made it is off camera, that is gorgeous. Oh, yeah. What's that you're eating now? That crocodile bag that fell on the floor? It didn't fall on the floor, this is the seasoning! Oh is it? Eat it then? Let me just stir it. I'm gonna get a big chunk. <laughs> I think you use a fibber. See? Yeah, you ate the loaves, didn't you mate? There we've got sizzling away, crocodile burgers, wild garlic, and Steve's got some water in there. Billy can for some uh, some mash, but yeah, crocodile burgers, yeah boy. Jesus, what was that? That was loud. Big blurry man. Oh, it's like a motorbike or something. No, Steve, that's a big. Whoa! I'm touching a crocodile. Oh, you know. Isn't it weird to know that I'm touching a crocodile? How weird? Ooh! <laughs> I wonder how much crocodile. Does it say on that packet how much crocodile's in it? Yeah, not point zero 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 one percent. Free range, free range or captive. Crocodile burger. Twenty five percent. It says ingredients. Crocodile meat, eighty percent. Eighty percent. It's not bad. So Steve has done my crocodile burger <laughs> and mashed bun. So you want to try it out? It's actually really sweet. It is sweet. It's more. It's sweeter than what you think, isn't it? Yeah. No wrong with that. And I have overcooked these. You know me because I didn't like. I didn't like looking. Sorry, true. I right, it put plenty of rams in them too. Oh no! I could eat that any other week. Could you? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I've had these before when I was out camping on on that mine as well a long time ago. And I think I undercooked them and it tasted a bit like squishy gammon. You yeah. know what I mean? And I, and I thought, oh, I'll not get them again. But like when I was coming up here, they were in the freezer, so Kaz must have bought them. I thought, well, yeah, I'll bring them. What's your one? No, that, that's nice delicious. Tea? My setup for the night. Yeah, we'll that one with all them, with all them bits. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly? Right. I'll get in there a bit. Remember it's in there that that's hot at the moment really. So this is me this morning. Oh, look at that. Ah. Something special about going topless. Let's say that right, topless. Oh. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful night last night. It's going to be enough for tonight. So sleep without the tops. It's grand. It's lovely. Definitely see a lot more stuff. I was hoping to see if I could get up early this morning and uh, see if I could spot a few deer. But I ended up having a few more beers. 
<laughs> than it allowed for me to get up early so but yeah so next job bacon you alright dumpling? No. yes you'll have to shout I'll try again you alright dumpling? Yeah. good you sleep alright? Good. Oh, just look. Look at that. I think it's golden. Oh, there's a morning chorus. Have you ever heard one? Birds singing and bacon sizzling. So, it's not very often someone does the cooking for me on the camp. So, Steve asks, breakfast bun, bacon, sausage, and egg. egg Kev. <laughs> We're gonna, there's a royal <laughs> rumble over I the runny egg. <laughs> <laughs> I like the smallest one. Shooting. So there's not really too much going on at the minute. I'm just literally chilled out to the max. Enjoying it. It is glorious in here today. Absolutely glorious. Everything's not a cloud in the sky, the sun's out, all the leaves are all lit up golden. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. But I am gonna find some logs in a bit and pattern them down and have a pro uh, have a practice uh, of some feather sticks. It's not something I'm particularly good at. So when I move on to that, I'll uh, I'll let you join me, and we can have a go at that. Okay then, so like I just said, I'll, uh, I'll practice some of these feather sticks, it's not something I'm particularly good at, so I'll have to practice now. The idea is, quarter some logs, just got some sycamore here, take the triangle point off, and then as soon as you, if you, if you imagine every time you make a cut, then you get two points, so you want to keep angling the wood and cut down, so like I say, that's the theory, I'm not particularly good at it, so let's all go. There is just to keep twisting that log. Well, not too bad. Not sure if it'll take a spark or not. Fine enough. I've always find it hard to do, Kev. I have. And it's a bit damp. Yeah. So, how about failed that, but good practice on the feather sticks anyway. The thing, 
Yeah, I still can't believe how beautiful it is in this woods today. It is stunning. I'm having a grand time. I think Steve's about to go. Me and Lily are having a good time. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm loving it. Chainsaw Man's gone now. He was here this morning, taking a bit of wood. So he's left us in peace now, which is grand. Oh. Love it. This is where Frog Moon dies. Hurts his back. <laughs> he really will as well. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, start sawing that brand. <coughs> Come here, let me show you. Right. Listen, are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon if the bid lag gets on it, it's on the floor. <laughs> Wait, you should just do it back to forward here. Right? Nah. Okay, so Kev forgot to record, didn't he? But we had a few friends around, done steak burgers for everybody, pork belly, and stuff like that. And I forgot to record it. But Steve has uh, got us some cherry bay rolls and custard, so now we're going to it. Thanks, Steve. No problem, mate. Lovely. Oh, that's rich. All right guys, there we go. It's getting towards bedtime now, so what I've done to the fire is I've just chucked on uh, some logs. They're about five feet long, between six and eight inches in the round, and I've chucked on about three of them. So that should sustain it through the night. Hopefully we have a nice bed of coals in the morning, maybe even a flame or two, if we're lucky. That is the bedtime fire though, that's sort of what we do at the night. Other than that, it's time to jump in the pit and I'll catch you from inside of the hammock. Yeah, so that is it then guys. I'm calling it a night. Uh, another beautiful night again. No top. Sleeping in a five billion star hotel again. Let's have it. Love it, don't I? There is a fair few stars out as well tonight. So, uh, Catch you in the morning. So good morning guys. It's about half past seven. Steve's not long woke me up and uh, he's done an early leave so he's packed up and left. Lily's still in bed. Couldn't really get back to sleep after all the after the sun hit my eyes. It's beautiful so dry and uh, all the birds singing. But I'm gonna give it a, maybe 20 minutes in bed and then get up and have some bacon. I think. Oh, stunning.
Oh, that was a shaky old hand movement. Try that one again. Oh, this is the life. So, it's now 8 o'clock. I still haven't got out of bed. I've just laid here and uh, took this opportunity to uh, reply to all the YouTube comments on the channel. So, I've just been laid here for about 40 minutes doing that. But now, I am getting up. Ooh, let's do this. You're joking, I broke both my eggs. So we've got some bacon and egg wraps then. Keep saying it and keep saying it, but I'm in love with that cast iron skillet. Oh, that's a brilliant pit pit. So here we are in the woods and we find the lesser spotted flat faced. <laughs> 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 you look like the Klu Klux Klan or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're strange. Oh, I nearly fell again. Okay, so there's a few logs left, but most of you know that we'll, we'll probably be back here next weekend or the weekend after. So we do leave the 
we do spread the nutrients around down the ash, put the fire out. But there's a few logs, but we'll just burn them next time we're here. And we have total permission to do it that way, uh, so there's not too many fire scars about. Fire scars about. So that's it, guys. Come this side of the camera, camera lady. Mm -hmm. I don't actually like move the camera. Oh, what? Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> It's been an awesome weekend in the sun, camping on it. Yes. Oh. So yeah, that's it from us too. It's all packed, got a rubbish bag, just got to put pop out of the way and we're done. So we'll see you in the next video, won't we?